costing systems in managerial accounting, job order costing. In this chapter, it's very important that you understand the flow of costs uh, in the accounting system as we track costs or accumulate those costs as they relate to products or services. So we're going to talk specifically about making a product because it's more complicated than making a service. And you'll remember that a job order cost card is what we use to track the costs as they flow through the production process. We're going to be using problem six in our chapter um, to kind of set the stage because it really helps to have an example of cost flows. So that's what we're going to do. Now, um, this is the only chapter that there's journal entries. So I'm, I'm just sharing that with you, so bear with me. So in problem six, it says that we have brought the industries. They make parking attendant attire. So we've uh, been in business over 30 years, and during September, the following things take place. So the first one, on September 1st, it says we purchased direct materials on account for $59,400. Now when we buy direct materials on account, we debit material inventory. So on September 1st, 59400 is our debit. And we bought it on account, which means that we need to credit. And yes, I'm going to do page flipping. So accounts payable. $59,400 on the first. So debit, material inventory, credit accounts payable. Then on the third, we requested direct materials costing $26,850 for production, all for job A. So in other words, the, the production process or the assembly line called up and said, hey, send over some materials. So we sent over $26,850. That means I'm going to debit work in process $26,850. And that's all for job A. And that was on what date? The third. And that came out of material inventory. So on the third, I would credit material inventory $26,850. So notice on the third, we're debiting material uh, work in process inventory, credit material inventory for the amount of materials we used for job A. Then on the fourth, we purchased indirect materials for cash, 22830 Well, we're going to debit material inventory, 22830 for those indirect materials. So notice that both direct and indirect materials go into material inventory first. Uh, and that was on the fourth. And we bought these for cash, so I need to credit cash, don't I? So on the fourth, we're crediting cash 22,000, was it 840? No, 830. So 22,830. So on the 4th, debit, material inventory, credit, cash for the purchase of indirect materials. 